This week, we are focusing on words that students often misspelled in writing. Word number one is eight. Eight is the number after seven and before nine. For example, Ellie had eight pairs of glasses, but because he didn't wear any, his eyesight got even worse. Do you see I G H T in the words sight and eight? Remember, eight and Ellie both start with the letter E. Word number two is doesn't. Doesn't is the contraction of does not. For example, the baby doesn't seem to care what others think of him. Remember, the apostrophe replaces the letter O in not, and the two words are combined to spell doesn't. Do not misspell this word by placing the apostrophe between the two different words. Word number three is boundary. The noun boundary means the line around the outside of something. For example, the boundary line around the football field was marked with white chalk. Remember the letter A in boundary. Do not misspell this word as B O U N D E R Y. Word number four is guard. A guard is a person or thing that protects and looks after someone or something else. For example, the queen's guard dropped to the ground when he fell asleep on the job. Remember the letters U, A in the word guard. Word number five is similar. The adjective similar is for two things that are very alike and almost the same. For example, Simi and Miller look similar because they both have long hair and dress the same way. Don't forget the letter I after the letter M in similar. Word number six is cemetery. A cemetery is a graveyard or a place where people are buried after they die. For example, Ella, Eden and Ellen went to the dark and spooky cemetery late at night. Remember, there are three E's in cemetery to represent Ella, Eden and Ellen. Word number seven is safety. The noun safety means the condition when someone is safe or protected. For example, Homer wore a safety mask so that he will not burn or injure himself with a fire. Safety is spelt as safe followed by ty. Word number eight is ignorance. The noun ignorance means not knowing something or ignoring something. For example, because of his ignorance, the dragon flew too close to the sun and set his wings on fire. Break this word up into ig, nor, ence to remember its spelling. Word number nine is mechanics. Mechanics is the subject that combines math and physics. Mechanics is important for building cars and machines. For example, Chan asked me for help with a tricky mechanics problem. Do you notice the words me and Chan in mechanics? Word number 10 is occasion. The noun occasion 
refers to an event that is happening, like a wedding or a birthday party. For example, Catherine and Chris were dressed perfectly for their wedding occasion. Remember, there is a double C in the word occasion, but not a double S. Word number 11 is tucked. Tucked is the past tense of the verb tuck, which means fold or push into something. For example, the man's shirt was perfectly tucked into his pants. Your teacher at school will also ask you to always tuck your shirt in. Word number 12 is taught. Taught is the past tense of the verb teach, which means giving someone knowledge or information. For example, our teacher never taught us anything and he always looked even more confused than us. Remember the A-U in taught. Do not misspell this word as T-O-R-T or T-O-R-G-H-T. Word number 13 is edge. The noun edge is a synonym of word number three, boundary, which means the outer line of something. For example, the ball landed just at the edge of the field before crossing the line. Word number 14 is kernel. The noun kernel means the soft inside part of a nut, seed or fruit. For example, the baked corn kernels were soft and sweet. Another meaning for kernel is the important part of something. For example, this is the kernel of the argument. In other words, this is the most important part of the argument. Word number 15 is liaison. Another word for liaison is cooperation. For example, I was on the phone with the company's liaison manager and it turned out to be my friend Leah's son. A liaison manager is someone who makes sure there is good talking between the company and their customers. If you break the word liaison up, you can see Leah, I and son. Word number 16 is 12th. 12th refers to the number 12 in a sequence. For example, I had a big party with all my friends for my 12th birthday. 12th is spelt by replacing the letters V, E in 12 with the letter F and then add T, H. Word number 17 is playwright. A playwright is a person who writes plays and musicals. For example, Shakespeare is often referred to as the greatest playwright in history. Write in playwright is spelt with the silent G H. Word number 18 is medieval. The adjective medieval is another word for Middle Ages, which is before the 14th century. Medieval time was quite harsh. For example, there weren't lots of medicines available to sick people during medieval times. Do you notice the word med and evil in medieval? Remember the rule I before E except after C. Word number 19 is anchor. An anchor is a weight attached to a ship to park it. 
For example, the anchor sunk to the bottom of the ocean to stop the ship from moving. Remember the H in the word anchor. Word number 20 is entertain. The verb entertain means making someone laugh or be happy. For example, Tain, the scary clown, entered through the door and began to entertain the children at the party. Do you notice the words enter and tain in entertain? Word number 21 is governor. A governor is a person who is in charge of a town or city. For example, the governor was known to be a funny and friendly man in The Simpsons. Remember the letter O in the word governor. Do not misspell this word as G-O-V-E-R-N-E-R. -E word number 22 is propeller. A propeller is a fan-like machine that makes things move. For example, the new helicopter had two propellers to make it fly. Remember, just like this helicopter, the word propeller has two L's. Word number 23 is village. A village is a small town that is generally far away from a city. For example, most people who live in a village are in their old age. Do you see the word age in village? Word number 24 is tailor. A tailor is a person who makes or fixes clothes. For example, the tailor used a sewing machine to make a warm sweater for his tail. Notice the word tail in tailor. The word tailor is a compound word. You can see the words tail and or in tailor. Word number 25 is flipped. When you flip something, you turn it over. Flipped is the past tense for flip. For example, the vicious storm flipped the canoe in the sea. Don't forget, flipped is spelt with double P, not a single P. Word number 26 is imposter. An imposter is a person who pretends to be someone they are not. For example, the postman who came this morning seemed suspicious and so I knew he was an imposter. Do you see the word post in imposter? Word number 27 is purchase. The verb purchase means to buy something. For example, Chase purchased a purse for his wife on Valentine's Day. Do you notice per and chase in the word purchase? Word number 28 is sugar. Sugar is a sweet powder that is added to food and drinks to make it sweet. For example, I added a lot of sugar to my coffee. The word sugar sounds like it has the letters SH, but the word sugar does not contain the letter H. Word number 29 is visible. The adjective visible means something you can see. For example, the rainbow was bright and visible after the rain stopped and the sun came out. Break this word up into vis, i, bu to remember the spelling. Word number 30 is invisible. 
The adjective invisible means something you cannot see. Invisible is the opposite of visible. For example, Harry got a cloak for Christmas that made him invisible every time he wore it. Just add I N to visible to make the word invisible. This brings to the end of our spelling list 8B. Keep practicing and good luck in your spelling test.